Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sandblaster1987 here, continuing my Christmas haul toy reviews with SH Figure Arts Gosei Knight from Tenso Sentai Gosei, otherwise known as Robo Knight, the guardian of Earth's environment from Power Rangers Megaforce in 2013. Before I begin though, I would just like to thank you all for the 387 views of my Samurai Megazord video has had to this point. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content from me. Anywho, moving on. As you can see, Robo Knight here is a, yeah, Robocop Lion hybrid from Power Rangers Megaforce and Super Sentai. The, yeah, layered armor paneling on his arms and legs is uh, because he also transforms into the head of his own Lion Zord. So his arms and legs become the mane, which is why he's got a face on his chest. Unfortunately, the figure arts figure can't do that. It's pretty much the only show accurate thing the figure art can't do at this point. So, for articulation, there is a double ball joint in the neck for expressive head movement, although restricted by the collar and the shape of the helmet. Universal shoulders, again, inhibited by kibble. Although the shoulder pads can move a little on their own joints. Bicep swivel, again hindered by kibble. Double hinged elbows. Ball jointed wrists. And the hands can be popped off and replaced for different expressions where necessary. There's a ball joint in the torso for more limber movement. Universal ball jointing at the hips, plus an extension stem for rider cakes for the Kamen Rider figure arts figures. Stay tuned for future reviews to see those. Thigh swivel. Double hinged knees. Multi-directional ankles with uh, a little bit of hindrance from this ankle panel here. And a hinge at the toe for back footed poses. So, just get Robo Knight into a more neutral position here. For size comparison, here is Robo Knight with Hasbro Lightning Collection Wave 2 Goldar and Hasbro Lightning Collection Wave 1 Lord Z from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers line. As you can see, these 6 inch figures are slightly taller than the 5 inch figure art Robo Knight because he is slightly shorter than most other Sentai and Kamen Rider figure arts. Let's put these two off to one side. As you can no doubt see from the pile in front of me, Robo Knight comes with a ton of accessories. He comes with his sword. An opening version of his morpher with a hinge to open and close with the screen and the keypad fully painted. His gun, which is actually the sword folded up in the show. A non-opening version of his morpher, which is also included on his belt, although the one on the belt is not removable. The Vulcan cannon accessory that pegs onto his gun for the final attack. The gun, morpher and Vulcan cannon all fused together for more rare, you know, stop motion friendly poses. And a ton of spare hands for different expressions. So you've got gesturing hands. Closed fists. Sword holding hands. Morpher and Vulcan cannon holding hands. Open hands for giving high fives to the other rangers. And the gun holding hand on his right arm here, which is already installed for the pose I started the review with. The Vulcan Cannon accessory is also compatible with the sword. Not accurate to the show, but it's something you can do. 
and the opening version of the morpher can also fit onto the sword through this groove here. Like so. Again, not entirely screen accurate, but it's an option if you want a more extravagant display design. And that basically wraps up my review of SH Figure Arts Robo Knight. Join me next time when I continue my Christmas 2020 reviews with Energon Leader Class Optimus Prime. Till then, till all are one, and may the power protect you always.